Hi everyone, my name is Lee. Today I'd like to share my proposal on how Malaysia can manage safety risks during the Mass Hockey Junior World Cup. As we all know, sporting events are essentially cultural communication between people from different countries using sports as a link. So hosting a major sporting event is an integrated social, uh, cultural, and economic activity. However, it also brings some potential safety risks, uh, including cultural clashes between people from different cultures and health traits from uh, during the competition. So hosting a sporting event also presents the greatest test of management and coordination skills for the organizers. Uh, therefore, it is important to focus on safety uh, risks management at sporting events. The International Hockey Mass Junior World Cup, which will be held in Malaysia, is a, a large-scale sporting event with a large number of participants and demanding professionalism of the competition, which increasing, uh, increases the potential uh, safety risks of the event, and therefore good safety uh, risks management of this event is an important part to ensuring the uh, smooth running of the event. So as the safety consultant of this event, I will be advising on different aspects of safety risks management for this event with the arm of providing guidance uh, on safety management to help the event run in absolute safety. The first part is the safe moment of people and vehicles. A uh, major sports event involves many people, including isolated spectators and staff. And they also involve the movement of people and the transport and uh, discharge of vehicles. So the ability to arrange for the safe waving moment and uh, uh, evacuation of people and uh, vehicles is very uh, important to the risk management of sporting events. Firstly, in terms of personal safety, to ensure order and safety at the marches, organizers need to have a scientific and effective management plan. Uh, funds should be divided into those and uh, multiple uh, exits and toilets should be uh, provided in each zone to avoid crowding. Uh, finally, uh, each arena should be patrolled by staff and volunteers for a security, security purpose to assist, assist people to enter and leave the stadium in an orderly manner. Secondly, uh, in terms of traffic safety, organizers on the day of the sporting event should be aware of possible traffic problem on the match site and surrounding road. Uh, on the one hand, organizers should conduct the traffic department in advance to help donate, uh, con 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 uh, coordinate and divert traffic on nearby roads. On the other hand, organizers should uh, or formulate an uh, effective uh, traffic management plan, uh, orange traffic uh, guidance, staff on site, set up traffic signs to ensure that all uh, vehicles follow the rules and make parking arrangements during the event. Then, in terms of emergency response, the various contingencies that can occur during a sporting event require uh, organizers to have an emergency management plan in place as well in advance. Therefore, uh, organizers should uh, arrange for uh, uh, emergency services staff and provide them with basic professional training in medical first aid and fly uh, and fair flighting so that they can evacuate people quickly and safely and carry out effective uh, rescues in the first uh, uh, instance. Finally, in terms of managing security check, it is important that security check are carried out by means of uh, technical and manual screen. At the same time, our, uh, organizers need to carry out a risk assessment of the equipment on site, including, uh, including an assessment of the equipment and an uh, 
assessment of the management options so that uh, occurrence trade can be effectively identified and reduced. The second part is uh, facility preparation. Uh, in sport, equipment safety includes the safety of playing field, the safety of playing equipment, and the safety of arena operations. Firstly, in terms of the safety of the playing field, uh, hockey pl players need to uh, run fast and engage in uh, physical confrontation. So the playing field needs to be level to ensure the safety of the players during high speed moments. And secondly, uh, the ground should be accurately and, and clearly uh, delineated to ensure that players can clearly uh, defend the boundaries uh, of the game uh, and compete with a reasonable area to ensure fairness and, pro and prevent safety hazards. Uh, in terms of the safety of sports equipment, it is important to prepare the sports equipment needed for the uh, hawking game, uh, such as sticks and uh, safety equipment, uh, and to pay attention to the proper use of this uh, equipment. And in terms of the security for the operation of the video, a uh, dispatcher for uh, safe exits uh, should be provided. This will ensure the orderly, uh, uh, the orderly evacuation of players, uh, reference, and other stuff in the event of the uh, of an emergency in the arena. The third part is competing dangers. Uh, hockey is an intense multiplayer physical sport that uh, requires athletes to move at high speeds, uh, which lead to uh, potential sports endurance. Uh, therefore, it is important to focus on the healthy, uh, the health of athletes, monitor their health status, and response in a timely manner when uh, sports injuries occur. Firstly, uh, health check checks uh, should be carried out before the race. Uh, checking and assessing the physical condition of players can effectively prevent uh, health uh, risks and help onagers to be fully aware of uh, safety risks. And secondly, there are many emergencies that uh, can arise uh, during the march, uh, such as health problems caused by uh, the hydration or exhaustion. Uh, so organizers need to monitor the health of all players in real time. At the same time, it is uh, essential to be prepared for emergencies by having specialists the specialist uh, medical staff to provide medical assistance in the event of a problem. The fourth part is manual handing. During sports events, uh, which involves the handing, installation, and post-match cleanup of uh, many pieces of equipment, including the transport of interns such as uh, Vinyl equipment and media equipment. So attention should also be paid to safety in those areas. The next part is lips and chips. Uh, in Hawking, the playing surface is also prone to wet and muddy condi uh, conditional. Uh, so slips and chips are a common safety risk that can lead to injuries to players and other participants. So to provide safety risks in this area, uh, firstly, organizers should arrange safety war uh, warnings and signs. It can remind people to take care and avoid slips. And secondly, uh, organizers should maintain that their turf regularly, uh, regularly to uh, keep the field level. Uh, thus effectively reduce the risk of athletes sleeping and failing. So regular turf uh, maintenance will keep the field uh, well drained uh, so that the glass does not uh, become too slippery. The next part are part six to part eight. 
Equipment hazards is a part six. Uh, equipment hazards are problem with the design, uh, manufacture, installation, uh, maintenance, use or management of equipment in stadiums. Uh, equipment hazards in stadium can be divided into the following uh, areas, including uh, equipment defects, uh, improper use of equipment, improper uh, Maintenance, maintenance, uh, aging equipment and repair of equipment and electrical uh, circuit harnesses. Firstly, the integrity of equipment is important to the safety of the stadium and the smooth running of marches. When collecting a vinyl, it is necessary for managers to check each piece of uh, equipment at the uh, vinyl in advance. In addition to this, the goal should be to collect a complete set of equipment uh, in terms of its uh, performance. Uh, secondly, incorrect operation may result in equipment failure. Uh, and personal injury. In the event of uh, improper use of equipment, the, respons the responsible people should uh, provide a detailed operation manual together with uh, training and uh, instruction. Finally, the aging of equipment can cause problems uh, leading to an increased risk of uh, accidents. Uh, this requires the responsible person to impact uh, equipment in a timely manner and to replace and uh, repair any uh, deteriorating part found. The next part is about fail safety. Fail safety is a part of sporting events that cannot be uh, ignored. Foc uh, focusing on uh, fail safety is responsibility for the life of all participants. Uh, firstly, the staff should regular check and maintain uh, the electrical equipment. And secondly, the uh, management of the flammable materials should uh, take care of the correct st uh, storage. Uh, and most importantly, the organizers should conduct fair drills and develop and implement uh, emergency evacuation plans. Modern sports is an area of technological and professional sports. Therefore, organizers should pay attention to the safety of the use of uh, uh, electri electrical uh, equipment during sports events. The last one is the various weather condition. In my proposal, I have analyzed the safety risks posed by the uh, six mo uh, most mountain types of extreme weather. The first one, the second one is strong rainfall and uh, windy weather. Staff should keep an eye on the weather uh, forecast well in advance and adjust or po uh, postpone the date of a game if necessary. And the next one is highlight, uh, high lightning. High lightning can bring uh, risks of uh, electrical corrosion and uh, endanger people's life. In the event of uh, lightning during March, organizers should imply, implement a uh, rapid and, uh, and safe uh, evacuation, moving people to a safe indoor area. At the same time, uh, too low or too high temperature can bring an impact on the safety aspect of the game. Uh, the organizers should be considered about the health of the players. The last point is that uh, bringing light can cause visual uh, implement. Uh, the, the organizers should provide some shade at the venue and players who are not feeling well should receive medical attention. In conclusion, it is clear from the above analysis of potential safety risk management uh, insurance that uh, sporting safety is a prerequisite for the success for any sporting uh, event and a key management ensure for sporting event organizers to uh, consider. 
Uh, Malaysia, as the host country of the upcoming Men's Junior Hockey World Cup, should formulate safety risk management strategy in advance, uh, strengthen commun communication with previous host countries, uh, learn from their experience. Only by paying full attention to safety risk management in sport can we ensure the uh, success of this uh, Hockey World Cup and uh, contribute the uh, creation of a uh, sporting event. Okay, that's all. Thank you.